What's up, Wu? Um, just bringing you guys another war recap. So this war literally just ended. It was against the level 7 clan, Hinaga Geologia, um, out of Spain. Anyway, let's get on with the recap. So the first attack I'm going to show you is the wonderful B. Kim 7690s attack on the enemy number 5. So as you can see, um, we've got a maybe halfway maxed out, closer to Town Hall 8 base actually. Um, so BK starts going in with a 2 Golem and Wiz kill squad. Cleared out a large funnel, and once that funnel starts to get cleared out, he's dropped his queen. A few wall breakers there. No oh, nice placement. Then he destroys the inner part of the base with earthquake spells. As his barb king goes in and starts taking out the enemy barb king and the structures, his queen is working on those clan castle troops, especially that max dragon. Um, King's ability has been activated. Looks like BK even brought some witches there for extra injury. So his kill squad is penetrating really deep. So, so deep that they might destroy the town hall. And then he just starts swarming in with hogs from the top. And as these hogs just start tearing through the rest of the base, you can see that two golem lights remain. The archer queen is still at full health, still has the ability. And Brian has a wizard on top, and an archer on the side as his hogs begin to th the rest of the base along with the archer queen and it looks like there's one witch down there to work too so this was a very good hog attack by brian you can obviously tell because it was so devastating that he had what is it maybe 10 15 maybe more hogs remaining such a devastating attack the rest is just clean up, so we'll skip through. Uh, very good job by Brian. Very good redemption here. Okay, guys, so the next attack I want to show you is the Bitch Tamer's new war strategy. The Bitch Tamer brought along this time two Earthquake spells, and it's some sort of deviant variation on the max attack. So you can see it starts out exactly the same. He's attacking the army camps because those are very large spaces. Once destroyed, um, they create a very nice wide funnel. So we destroyed two army camps. Wizards start funneling the rest of the structures. Then his golems hop in, and he uses two earthquake spells just to soften up the walls a bit. You know, kind of like microwaving a block of cheese to melt it down a bit, it cuts through easier, you know, soften up a little butter, cut it down a little easier. So his heroes go in and use a rage spell so that they can get through these softened walls. As his barb king and golems and queen begin to destroy a large part of the base, he drops his hounds and balloons spreads out the hounds so that they capture um, traps. You don't want to drop two hounds in the same location because they'll act activate the same traps. You want to spread your hounds out even if they're going for the same air defense. Then you dropped about two balloons per defense. It'll take two balloon hits to kill any defense. So it's always good to put two or more. And then he had two rage spells, so he uses those as well. He had an extra one here with that new strategy. So as you can see, uh, his balloons and one remaining hound are converging on the remaining defenses here. The pups that spawned once his hounds popped are cleaning up along with his barb game, which is still alive. And yeah, that attack was pretty academic. 
Nice new attack strategy by the bitch damn. Let's skip through the rest of this. That was great strategy, so. Good work to the bitch tamer. Now let's see what the clan mates have to say. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Mighty Boy for the win. Already did, boy. Alright, so this attack is the bitch tamer's attack on number one. Very similar to a strategy he employed in the last war, where he started with a funneling tactic and put some healers on his queen, taking her out for a nice walk in the park, destroying the clan castle troops. That was dangerous. He almost missed her ability there, and that would have been disastrous. Um, again, this queen almost died. She's gonna slow that down. Didn't realize I was fast forwarding. But he used a rage spell to actually boost the healing powers of his healers. Very good, quick thinking on the fly. If he had lost his queen, that would have been disastrous. Anyway, he's got his level 2 jump down. And his Barb King has used that to hop the wall. The enemy queen is nestled in there, kinda deep. Looks like she hops a wall and starts targeting the Barb King, so the Barb King goes over there and gives her the old 1-2. And as his heroes converge on the center of the base, he sends in the swarm of hogs. These hogs are sweaty, they've been pent up in their hog pens with no female hogs. Their testosterone is just off the walls right now. They need to let it out on this base. These angry black porks are just running amok over this base, destroying everything. The pent up sexual frustration of a thousand sons. So they start destroying the rest of the structures, even as the queen has full health from the healers, and she's also destroying the structures. Very good attack by Bitch Tamer. Um, as these videos go on and on, the importance of having high level heroes and planning each attack for three stars cannot be understated.